Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome to another Thirsty Thursday with me, your host, Reverend Dr. Etta Anderson. I am so glad that you chose to join me again this morning. I have some news for you, so I'm glad that you tuned in. Let, before, I, before I give you the good news, let's go to God in prayer. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for allowing us to breathe, oh God. Thank you for the cleansing breath, oh God. We love you much. We honor you. We adore you. Speak, Lord. Your children are listening. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah and amen. Amen, amen, amen. Um, I wanted to share a quick word with you today. Yeah, um, I was in dialogue. Yes, I, I'm, I'm trying to use my words carefully because I don't want to sound uh, over spiritual, but I, I do want to keep it real with you. I was in dialogue with the, word, with, with the Lord. Um, he took me to Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter one. Um, and I, I was studying verses 11 through 18, but it's 11 and 12 that he wanted me to mention to you today. In this Jeremiah one, uh, 11 and 12, God is speaking to Jeremiah. And he said, Jeremiah, what do you see? That's, it. That's very important for us to understand. God asked Jeremiah, what does Jeremiah see? Let us not get to a point where we don't see things where we don't just see with our physical eyes, but we see with our intellect and our understanding. And yes, sometimes our understanding is enlightened by our heavenly imagination. When you have been studying the word of God, you end up seeing the word of God. It's no longer just words on a page, but your heart and your mind is stimulated and your imagination paints a vivid picture for you. So God asked Jeremiah, Jeremiah, what do you see? And he said, I see the branch of an almond tree. And God said, you are right. God is preparing us to see. Go on, continue to read on in that, that, that 12th verse. He said, these are my plans. These are God's plans that he's showing Jeremiah. The same thing with you and I. God is showing us some things in this hour. And we need to pay attention to what he is showing in us. Holy Spirit, in his might, in his counsel, in his strength. He is revealing to us. He is showing us of things to come. But we cannot be the ostrich with his sand in the hand. We must 
see what God is showing us. We must see the plans that God has, even when his plans include a rod of correction. He wants us to see this. And sometimes that rod of correction, when he's bringing this rod down, the rod is not to kill or destroy us, but correction is being brought into play. And sometimes the correction for some is harder than others. It's according to what you've done that you need to be corrected on. Oh, somebody will get it in a, in a minute because if you're a parent and you know how you have corrected, you, you can have uh, more than one child. One child gets one punishment, another child gets another uh, punishment, amen. Praise be unto God. And, and then, uh, but it's according to what they've done that they need to be corrected on is how that that punishment comes about. We're getting ready to go into a time of correction. Praise be unto God. Last week, last week, last week, I told you about your new start. I told you about your fresh start and how God is jump-starting you in that. Amen. And I told you that you are in your new normal of success. Well, hold on to that word. Because that's the rod of correction is coming down. Amen. You need to hold fast to what God has already told you. But you will need to be able, oh, good God, honey, you will need to be able to, to discern the hour that you are in, the people who are around you, and how you must effectively minister to them that they come out on the right side of this thing. Amen. That they Because it's time for us to stop holding grudges. It's time for us to stop living in, 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 in uh, unforgiveness. And it's time for us to stop having these hardened hearts. Amen. So if you're able to minister to someone, that they can see their error and, and teach them, amen, the importance of forgiveness, amen. Teach them the importance of, of, of having a, a heart of flesh that God can shape and mold. Hallelujah unto God. And, and that, that uh, we learn to have mercy upon one another, amen. So this is not the time for you to be... Uh, Na 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 na, you in trouble? Ah na 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 na, I am good. Mm, I got my ice cream. No, this is not the time for you to do that, boo. This is the time for you to be mature, and you help others through the season that we're going through, that we're getting ready to enter. So prepare, prepare yourself by seeing with your natural eyes. And your faith eyes, your 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 intellect, your mind, amen, all working together, amen, because you're not a puppet, amen, amen, you're not a puppet. They used to call puppets, they used to say it was a dummy sitting on somebody's lap. You're not a dummy sitting on anyone's lap. You have a mind, you have an intellect, you have a heart, amen, you have eyes that God has enlightened so that you can see what is going on. God doesn't want to hide it from you. He doesn't want it to be a surprise to you. He's giving you warning now. So prepare yourself. Continue, amen, to do your devotions, your daily devotions with God. But don't just go in out of habit. Go in looking to see what God wants to reveal to you. That's what the purpose of this was today. I wanted you, amen, to not do your daily devotions out of habit and ritual, but do it with the purpose. Show me, Lord. Teach me your way, Lord. Ah, glory be unto God. That's all the time that I have today. But I want to say, I thank God for you. I thank God that you showed up, amen, so that you could hear this rhema word and that you could take this word to heart, amen, that you could chew on the word of God, amen, and you can receive from him. In his presence is the fullness of joy. So may your joy be full day after day, amen. God bless you. God keep you. I love you. Amen. And I ask uh, if you have 
not I'd already done so. If you would um, like the video, if you would share the video, if you would um, give your testimony. I want to hear what's going on with you. I want to know just how good God is to you. Amen. And how you how you verbalize the goodness of God in your life. Amen. And if you haven't done so, if you would subscribe to my channel. Amen. Amen. I'm trying to take it global. I want everybody to have the opportunity to sup with Jesus. Mm. Oh, taste and see just how good the Lord is. Amen. I'm not going into another segment, y'all. I just wanna I just want you to know that I love you and I praise God for you. God bless the one that's hearing uh under the sound of my voice now, oh God. Bless them indeed, oh God. Give them eyes spiritually, naturally, that they can see, oh God, what you're calling them to, your plans for their lives, oh God. Uh, your plans for this world, your plans for this nation your plans for their homes, oh God. Lord, I just ask now, in the beloved name of Jesus the Christ, hallelujah and amen. Amen, amen, amen. Praise God for you. Love you till we meet again. Bye-bye.